In this video, we're going to learn how to use the find if not function in C++ to find the first element in a range for which a condition is not true. The first thing we'll do is include the algorithm library where the function is defined. We'll also include the vector library so we can create a vector. Then down here, we'll create a vector to store ints. We'll call the vector data and we'll initialize the vector with 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, and 10. So in this vector, we have mostly even numbers, but the first odd number, the first non-even number, occurs here. We'll call the find if not function to find the first non-even number in this vector. So down here, we'll have find if not, and we'll pass it data.begin and data.end as the first two arguments. So data.begin is an iterator that points to the first element in the vector, and data.end is also an iterator. It points to a sort of hypothetical element, one beyond the last element in the vector. So sort of right here, beyond 10. And together, these two iterators define the range of elements to be checked. So the elements to be checked are going to be from the element pointed to by the iterator provided as a first argument up until, but not including, the element pointed to by the iterator supplied as a second argument. And that is going to be the range. In this case, the range is exactly the elements in our vector. The third argument is going to be a function which returns true or false when past one of the elements in the range. We'll define that function now. Up here we'll have bool is even. So the function is going to return a bool value, either true or false, because that's what's expected of the function provided as a third argument. The function is going to accept an element as an argument each time it's called for each element in the vector. So we'll have int n for the name of that parameter. Now the function is going to return true if n is an even number and false if n is an odd number. What we'll have here is return n modulus 2 is equal to 0. So if we get a remainder of 0 after dividing an integer by 2, then we know that integer is an even number. So this is the modulus operator and the modulus operator is going to return the remainder of a division operation. So here, we're going to get the remainder of n divided by two. And if it's equal to zero, then we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So now we'll pass is even as the third argument to the find if not function. And the function supplied as a third argument is going to be called by find if not and find if not is going to supply it each element in the range as an argument until eventually one of those elements has the function return false. So at that point, find if not is going to return an iterator that points to that element. We'll store that into a variable called it. We can dereference an iterator using the star operator. So star it should give us whatever element it is pointing to. We'll output that element. We'll have here C out and first non-even, in other words, odd value. And then we'll output whatever element it is pointing to, followed by an inline. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here first non-even odd value is seven. And that is correct because seven is the first non-even value in this vector. So getting a bit more precise, this third argument is what's called a unary predicate. And the find if not function is going to return an iterator pointing to the first element in this range for which this unary predicate returns false. Now, if that doesn't happen for any of the elements in this range, what find if not is going to return is this iterator here that defines the end of our range. We'll check for that. We'll have here if it is equal to data.end. 
then we'll put here no even value found in vector followed by an inline. Otherwise, we'll output what we had before. So we'll cut this and paste it here. And then we'll take seven out of this vector. And then all the elements in the vector will be even numbers. So now if we save compile and run the program, we get here no even value found in vector. So this is how we can use the find if not function in C++ to find the first element in a range for which a condition is not true. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.